Well, hey, bro, this is Josh Nelson with Plumber SEO. I um, just wanted to put together this quick video for you, a review of your current website and online marketing efforts, and where I feel like by making some tweaks and some changes to your strategy, you could connect with a lot more service calls and a lot more new business uh, by leveraging the Internet. So I wanted to start off here. I, I've got your website up, brosplumbing.com. It looks like you have this through the yellow book. Uh, it's a nice site. Obviously, it's got some good content. I really like the fact that you're, you're emphasizing your story which is that you know, you're know you a Marine and you've started your plumbing business and you service the entire Austin, Texas area. Um, but just in looking at your online marketing effort as a whole, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for improvement. <laughs> so if we pull up a search right now for Austin Plumber, which I would think is one of the main things that someone would type if they're looking for a plumber in, in your service area there in Austin, um, you know, obviously you don't have any positioning on page one uh, for that keyword. And I have developed an inventory of other keywords, um, Austin Plumber, Austin Plumbing, Austin Water Heater Installation, Austin Water Heater Repair, uh, Round Rock Plumber, Cedar Park Plumber, and some, some other service cities, smaller cities in and around Austin that I think would be important for you um, that you're not showing up for. And now I'll take a look at your website and I'll kind of give you some ideas and some feedback on why you're not showing up for those keywords based on the website that you have in place. But um, you know, suffice it to say, you're not showing up for these keywords, and I think that you're. I think that you're aware of that. Um, when we type that search, Austin Plumber, you'll notice the first thing that comes up are these A, B, C, uh, D listings, and this is this is the map listing or the map sections on on Google. It's also known as Google Places. Um, right now, obviously, you're not showing up in the map, and you're not showing up in the organic area uh, either. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to pull up your Google Places listing, kind of show you where something you want to adjust or make, make a change to right away. When I type in Burles Plumbing Austin, Texas, um, you know, this very first thing that shows up is your Google Places listing. And, oops, and when I click on Places page, now this is your actual Places listing. Um, and it looks like it's been claimed through Easy Local or some type of local uh, service. However, it's missing some really important information. First of all, it links to easylocal.com as opposed to directly to your website. And that's a major miss. Um, we, we want, if someone searches for Verl's Plumbing or finds you in the map when they typed in Austin Plumber or one of the other keywords, we want to make sure that it drives them to your website, which has information about you and not to your, you know, your, your listing on easylocal.com. Uh, from there, you know, it's got this cute little clip art. Um, our, our, Research indicates that having real pictures of yourself, of your trucks, of your facility, uh, of any equipment that you have, of your team, converts much better than um, you know stock photography or or clip art. The other thing you'll notice here, you know, you've got the categories correct, which is good. You know, plumber, 24-hour emergency plumbing, and commercial plumbing, um, and a little bit of a description. You can have a lot more information here. Um, you know, typically, if you look at, at one of our listings that we build out uh, for our clients, you know, this this becomes a full page filled with content and relevant information. Uh, really speaking, more to the five major cities that you operate in and all of the different services that you offer, including you know, drained uh, clog repair, clog drain repair, toilet installation and repair, um, you know, um, router services and the like. And then, you know, you, you have a video on your website. I don't know if you have other video content. Um, you want to add that here. You want to have real pictures of yourself and you want to have video content. And by building out your, your places listing with this relevant information, um, not only is it going to be better if someone types in Burroughs Plumbing, they're able to learn more about you uh, and get directly to your website, but more importantly, it'll improve your probability showing up in the, in the map section when someone types in Round Rock Plumber or Austin Plumber or one of these other cities that you operate in. Um, you know the other thing you know that really has an impact on placement, especially within this map area, is citations. Uh, a citation is just a, a reference of your company name, phone number, address, and other places on the internet. And so I have a tool that helps me just kind of do a quick look at where you've claimed your listings and where you haven't. Um, good news is you're at about 50%, which is good. You've got Google, you've got Yahoo, uh, and you've got Best of the Web and Hot Frog. Uh, however. You haven't claimed Bing and you haven't claimed Yelp. These are two huge players in the internet marketing space, especially for local business. Uh, very va valuable citations that you want to make sure that you go out and you claim right away. Um, the other thing is, if you look at the you know at these listings, even though they've been verified, there's not a lot of information on them. You don't have relevant photos. You don't have relevant information. 
So one thing I would recommend right away would be to go into these listings and build them out with relevant content. Uh, so that you're not only getting the citations, but you're also getting the, you know, uh, the conversion capability, right? If someone gets to one of these listings, we want them to be able to feel like they know, like, and trust you. So they're more likely to call you than one of the other plumbers serving the Austin area. Um, the other thing when I look at this is I notice that you don't have any reviews online. You do have a couple through, I think, your easy local listing, but um, not on Google Places, not on Yahoo, uh, and not on Bing, which, again, there are two major determinants for placement in the, in the map mm -hmm. listings. The number of citations that you have, and you can adjust that by claiming your local listing in all of these different places, as well as the other directories that are online. And the other very important one is the number of reviews for your business. So you want to have a strategy in place where you can get reviews from your, uh, from your existing customers and happy customers, and by getting more of those reviews, you improve your credibility, which in turn improves your probability of showing up in this section. And we'll notice that Carl, you know, Clark Kent Plumbing has 19 reviews, and Radiant Plumbing has 19 reviews, and Rotor Rooter has 46 reviews. So I mean, obviously, Austin's a very competitive area, um, and you could, you're going to need to play by the rules. You're going to need to accomplish some of these things in order to have the probability of showing up and, and connecting with, with some of these types of opportunities. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, because you know, I, I know you probably perceive the, the potential for new business to come from the internet, but you really, it's really hard to quantify. You know, what, how big is the opportunity? How many people are actually using you know, Google and Yahoo and Bing to search? Um, and I pulled up a tool we use. It's, it's actually Google AdWords tool that gives you an idea for your keywords what the search volume is, uh, looking at the historic data on, on a search engine. So if we typed in the word, you know, Austin Plumber, Austin Plumbing, uh, Water Heater, Austin, you can see there's, there's literally thousands of searches every single month for, you know, the main keywords, as well as hundreds of keywords for some of the smaller keywords like Round Rock Plumber, uh, Cedar Park Plumber, uh, and some of the other keyword combinations that I'm sure uh, you'd like to be sure that you're showing up for. And, and really the reason for this is just to help you understand there is a major opportunity. There are local people in Austin and in the Austin area searching for your plumbing services and by not showing up in those searches you're, you're missing out on a major opportunity. So let's take, take a look at your website now um, and, and just kind of identify what on this website is limiting you from showing up for more of these different keywords. And, and I'll, I'll preface that with the fact that there are two major components of, of search engine optimization are getting placed on the search engines. There's on-page optimization, which are the things that you can do to your site, and then there's off-page optimization, which is really how many inbound links do you have with anchor text and, and relevant quality inbound links pointing from other websites to your website. Um, most of what I'm going to talk about right now is on-page optimization, what you can do on your site, but really that, that off-page optimization has a si more significant bearing on placement than just making the changes to your, your page itself. So I'm on burlsplumbing.com. You'll notice it says slash index. Um, that, that is a potential issue for you. Uh, right off the bat, it's, it's called a concatenation issue. So I talked about having inbound links pointing to your website. Um, and let's say you have 15 inbound links from various places. Um, some of them are going to be pointing to burlsplumbing.com. Some of them are going to be pointing to burlsplumbing.com slash index. Um, you really want to adjust this so that all of the inbound links, you know, especially to your homepage, are going to the non-index.htm version of your site. Because what you've done in this case is you're really splitting the amount of inbound links to your website, which is you know, hurting your capability or your possibility of showing up in the searches when someone types in uh, plumber in Austin, Texas, and, and, or some of those other keyword combinations that we talked about. The other thing I want to point out is, you know, on your homepage or on your website here, you've got one, two, three, four, five pages. You've got a plumbing services page, which lists out your services. You've got a drain cleaning page, which obviously really talks more about the drain cleaning side of what you do. And then you've got the remodeling page. And this is great. I mean, this is typically what I see within a, a plumbing business, you know, five or five or six different pages, maybe, maybe a coupons page. Um, but this way of, of building your website is missing out on a major opportunity. You know, a typical web page, you know, each page on your website, you've got five, can be optimized between, for between one and two keyword combinations. So if we look at your website up here, it says Plumber Austin. Here it says Austin, Texas Plumber. If 
talks about plumbing, that's great. Obviously, the attempt here is to be optimized for the word Austin plumber. Um, but there, you know, as we were looking at before, there are literally hundreds of different keyword combinations that somebody might type if they were looking for a plumber in Austin. They might type in emergency plumber in Austin. They might type in after hours plumber in Austin. They might type drain cleaning. They might type in bathroom repair. They might type in bathroom modeling. And the list goes on and on. And the way to make sure that your website shows up for all of those different keyword combinations is to build out your website so that it's got more pages that are optimized for those different keywords. Um, so you know, our clients typically what we do is we take their you know five page website and we build it out to be somewhere between 70 and 100 pages. Um, and by that I mean we would take each one of these services that you that you provide, slab leaks, sump pumps, right? And we would combine that with Austin, with Round Rock, with each of the different cities and sub cities that you operate in. Um, and by doing it that way, what you do is you make sure that you're at least in the index for the 50 to 100 different keyword combinations that are relevant to your business. And those include Round Rock Plumber, Round Rock Plumbing, uh, Austin Plumber, Austin Plumbing, and then all of those different services combined with those cities as well. Um, so, I mean, just, just from a high level, that's where I really feel there's an opportunity for you to gain a lot more traction and show up for a lot more of these searches as people are searching which will make your phone ring a lot more and create a lot more opportunity for you to, you know, to be out in the field doing service calls. You know, I hope you found this information interesting. If you'd like to learn more about you know, what I do and kind of our services, you can go to plumberseo.net um, you know, or give me a call. I'd love, I'd love to talk with you about this in more detail. My number is 866-610-4647, and I appreciate you taking a couple, couple minutes to, to review this video.